Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the Java 8 comparators than comparing method for multiple sort criteria. So if you go to the comparator interface and try to search than comparing, then you'll get three overloaded method. So if you know at least first method, first than comparing, how to use then second and third overloaded method easily you can use. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to I'm going to show you how to make use of then comparing method. So many times we need to sort with multiple sort orders uh, on more than one attributes of an object. The second level sort order gets used if the first level sort criteria is not defined. Suppose in the list of employees we are going to use in this example there are more than two employees with the same name let us take a second sort order of age and say uh, that in such cases we will put the employee with the younger age first uh, for exactly this kind of multiple sort ordering java 8 comparators provides a default method than comparing and you can see the signature of these methods right so if you want to perform uh, sorting based on the more than one attribute then then comparing is very handy so let's try to understand how to make use of this api through an example so i have created a project and in this project i have created a model class in this model class in its name is employee whose who contains two attribute private field constructor public setter getter method and two st method i have overload over written <coughs> now in this client program i have created a list and i have added some employee object and you can see martin i have added thrice right and first martin this list who is, who is having age 40 second martin 25 and third martin in this list whose age is 35 right so what i want to do actually i want to perform sorting based on the name and if i find if i i i find name of two or more employees have same then we want to perform sorting based on the age okay so here what i'll do so here i'm going to show you in that case how we can make use of then comparing method i hope you understood the use case so here comparator i'm going to use comparator comparator uh, is having a method is called comparing which already we have seen uh, comparing and here comparing we can write employee colon get name right and you can see this method returns a comparator itself right so you can perform the cascading operation so here i am going to use another method than compare which just we have discussed and here i am going to pass second comparison i want based on the age right so employee call and get age make sure you have a getter method of name and age in your uh, employee class now you can you can get a comparator objects let's say see your mp now uh, as we know that collections class has a utility method is called sort right so which already we have seen in previous example so i'm talking about the second method which accepts first argument as a list and second argument as a comparator so this list i'm gonna pass it over here and comparator already we have created so let's pass this comparator and when this line of code will be executed then uh, this list of employee will be sorted and first that will sort on the base or the name if 
two employee has the same name then that will sort based on the age so let's uh, print this list of employees so I would say before sorting and after sorting so before sorting we will have to print uh, before this sorting logic now we can use uh, sorry EMP list has a now we can apply for each loop and here yeah, this accepts consumer object right so consumer object here you can pass it as a meta reference and after sorting we want to print list of employee as well okay so sorry this code will go here okay now let's run this application now you can see before sorting uh, you get the employee uh, in the same order in which order you have inserted into list array list so same order but uh, after uh, sorry uh, here I have to change the SOP I would say after sorting and let's run again so here the order in which you have inserted into list you get the elements in the same order because list maintains always order but after sorting you can see first allies it starts with A then Barry Davis James but in the case of Martin Martin there are three Martins right but uh, first is having the AS25 so that came first right uh, because second order view second uh, sorting we wanted based on the age then 35 then 40 so I hope you understood how we can make use of then comparing and again if your employee class contains some other fields like salary and uh, if you find two employees having the same name then that will try to search on the base on the age again age is again you find age is also same then you might be interested on uh, sorting logic to be performed on some other attribute so if you look into the then comparing this returns of always comparator so again you can perform you can cascade multiple sorting right again you can call then com uh, comparing method and you can perform based on the salary and so on right so so if you want to perform i mean sorting based on the more than uh, one attribute of an object then this method is very handy i hope you enjoyed learning this video this code i'm going to put on the github and github location i will specify in the video description if you have any queries or questions then please do post below to this video i will try to answer those queries and uh, see you next video tutorial with some uh, new features in java 8